cerebral infarction is a kind of stroke in Japanese no kosoku. My brother had it just two days ago or so. And he's 71, I believe. And uh, he sent me a mail that he had one. And part of the body get frozen or not functioning. And he is admitted in the hospital and he just got the mail. My father had one when he was perhaps 65 or something. My sister had one. Perhaps she was 73 or something. And my brother is now 71. Yeah, something like that. And I'm 76. So here's some of the findings related to that. But also, in the process, I found memory loss and things happening in the brain has something to do with it. So it's interesting. I'm okay with it, but I just want to summarize key point, which is uh, by itself is exercise of my brain and see if I can use the word in logic. And uh, let's start with this memory part first. It's a secondary part that I realized, but it's interesting. Of course, if you don't use it, you lose it, like a muscle. So me doing this on YouTube would help to use English. And sometimes I do it in Japanese, so bilingual is helpful to stimulate the brain. So Alzheimer's related issue uh, of memory loss should be uh, better prepared or exercised by me talking in English and Japanese. And I do think in English and Japanese. And when I was going through this chat GPT about cerebral infarction, no kosoku, I used Japanese in Japanese. So I cannot share those who are not Japanese, um, um, fluent in Japanese, but still, I may post it in description for the sake of uh, record and something that I picked up. So one thing I realized by cerebral, uh, perfect, what's the word? <laughs> cerebral infarction. It's not the word. See, my, my brain is not good. Several infarction, that's right. Is that... <laughs> that... Um, let's see. Oh, well, where was I? Something I noticed about several infarction is that uh, you need to have to prepare for that one, you need to be, let's see, doing the good exercise, eating the right thing, um, exercise, especially lots of oxygen, you know, passing through, so uh, like a pickle boy is a good one. And then uh, what to eat is important. So I had this uh, pre diabetic symptom 10 years ago, and because of that, I've been doing all the right thing. Exercise, eating food, and relaxation. Some of the things, that the key things I think of is that I'm taking pills so that my A1C has been, for the last 10 years, 5.67 to 5.9, very steady. And because of my discipline, that I didn't want, you know, prick my finger to check the, 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 the glucose level, so I changed the whole uh, way of life. So that may be the reason why I'm still not having the strong cerebral inf infarction. <laughs> cerebral infarction. 
So you see the symptom of old man. If you know from William, it just doesn't register. Even in Japanese, no kosoku. Those words are totally foreign for me, but I'm getting used to it. But part of remembering what to do, what to remember and what to do, <laughs> become an issue. So I keep saying, um, old dog cannot learn your skill, but we lose skills as you get older. So you want to repeat things until you uh, strengthen your muscle, the memory, and all of that. And obviously that's part of the reason I just realized what I'm doing in YouTube should help. And if there's anyone who was watching my video, you can see me de de um, declining my skill to talk logically and with the proper uh, the words that to be used at the time. Well, I sidetracked that. It's all connected. Uh, so, exercise, food, and relaxation, and meditation helps. And the reason for that is connected to all the other stuff I talked about. Samadhi, the state of Samadhi, is to be no mind, relaxed. No mind is relaxation. And no self is a relaxation because you're not pushing your ego. So by having the state of samadhi is the source of power. That's what I said. Connecting to the heart and let the burden in the brain and the stress to be relieved. That itself is wisdom and related to that is the compassion that may come because you are going beyond the ego so that you can relate to others better even though all the species or the people in the world have different background therefore there are certain barrier of communication the way of thinking the protocol of how they live their life. So in fact, my moving from Santa Monica to Hawaii to New Zealand to Japan in a different setting is to me is a stimulation. And so far as that stimulation is not too big, it's a good thing. So it's just a play, uh, part of exploring life as much as you can be like a kid. Again, not stressing yourself, but open-minded in that process. So each stress, we can adapt to it. More stress we can adapt, it's like doing a good exercise and eating the right food and utilizing the skills and memories and the logic to fit to the situation. The more we can do that, we should be able to be versatile and possibly more resistant, resistant to the stress. Well, that may be my theory, but I am fairly confident because as I studied the no kosoku, what's the word? <laughs> Cerebral infarction. What a, what a word. Uh, cerebral infection is pretty much the same as memory issues that you can prevent. So the deal with cerebral infection can help deal with the memory loss. Food to eat, lots of the fibers and the berries and the all the good stuff and actually the uh, um, tonio uh, which is in, in, in Japanese uh, diabetes it's also related to that so you will look at the 
various point of view, various symptoms, and find the root cause of it, and see if you are living by a line to address the right thing, which may have a different symptom that can come along the way. I think that's the major finding, and that also point the importance of you living in different countries or settings, which is stress, but I can deal with it, and I have dealt with it, and uh, if I don't push in a manner that is not too much, but not too little, my view is that that would strengthen the resistance to face the stress. That always come back to this state of Samadhi. I mentioned somewhere that the people who practice Zen live long. They say it's up to 96. The Buddha, 80 years old. Shinra and Shin Buddhism, 90 years old. This is like 700 years ago, I believe. And many others. Why? They are not stressed. Yeah, the stress caused by mental activity, or food, or exercise, those are to be understood in total, not just picking one and treat that symptom or suggestions you get on the YouTube here and there. And no wonder why I have so many, uh, let me just plug in the that is getting low. Uh, so that's the reason probably I have so many YouTube videos. Because each symptom of some issues has a source of that symptom to appear so that the root of that symptom to be addressed, in my view, with the plan to check act and Shiva Samadhi Panya. And Samadhi is the critical element of it. So if I do that, of course, the numbers of YouTube should reflect that. So you may see certain part of my YouTube would apply or not apply, because everybody is different. So we can take it that way. But in a holistic manner, I think you, me, everyone can benefit a lot by practicing Samadhi. It sounds like a stupid comment. If, but Samadhi, if that is the way of coming up with a solution by asking the right question, that's the critical thing. And if we don't do that, and just treat the symptom, not understanding the root cause of it, to cause stress and difficulty. So it's a game. I take life as a game. I'm not saying this lightly. Cerebral infarction. <laughs> I can say that. But tomorrow I will forget it. I'm sure maybe three hours. So in Five minutes I'll forget it. But if there's a will, there's a way. So my brother's situation is such that he's in the hospital right now. He found the situation at age 71 or so and called the ambulance, went to the hospital and he used to stay there for one week. Maybe in Japan they take care of you much more better than the US, but that, whatever the case is, he's been monitored. So he's not the one I can talk to over the phone, but we can communicate by the mail. And I had some reason to say something, but I'm just um, you know, taking time. 
and trying to send the right message. Thank you. It's a much chance for me to take this as an opportunity to learn. Like my sister had one, my father had one, <laughs> my brother had one. My mother had cancers, uterus and stomach. So I have good or bad reasons to digest what I can from their experiences, reflect on my own situation, and come up with a principal way to live, applying what I've been talking about, renewing my interest and in action, reflecting to that. In the meantime, I may stray from my memory, logic, and share with someone if there's anybody listening. So what I do for my own sake, accumulating and synthesizing information, process, and sharing the idea out may help reinforce the key point as much as possibly help others who is listening, willing to listen, <laughs> because it takes more endurance to listen to someone else's story. But that's what it is. We have tons of information. We, we can pick and choose which one. But when I did this conversation with ChatGPT, they will give you an answer, but you have to go deeper and deeper and checking from various angles to make sense of what it says from the symptom, from the statistics, from the logical point of view. And then that trigger other questions like this case uh, cerebral infarction to memory issue. Like I said, I use words, the kanji character, Chinese character, I use English words. Sometimes I remember in Japanese, but can remember in English, and English to Japanese, vice versa. And, and, and the uh, suggestion from ChatGPT, I thought I was doing, is most of what this says, including writing down the, the words that he forgot. And I may do it, I may stop doing it, but he's reminding me. And my talk like this is to remind myself Someone said, you say something to someone pointing the finger and the other fingers, one pointing and three or four fingers, three fingers, looking at myself. I wrote that, maybe I didn't write, but I, that's, that's one of the books I was writing and doing a video, I remember this. Those are valuable comments that we can Synthesize, not in the brain, but in the process of life to act upon. And the access to that information has to be real time because we are living in real time. Not just storing the inventory, but taking things to happen. I don't know what else I can say about this incident. It took time to go through chat GPT. It was helpful. I had to ask him a question. And after going through cerebral infection and cerebral infection, I remember that one, and memory issues, I'm synthesizing. And if you're young, you may see what a stupid thing he does. But to live my life is important. And what I learned is worthwhile to share. First, giving myself to digest, but with others, for them to live their life better. With the principle of Sivasana, you do the right conduct, 
you may know. Well, that's why we are here. And samadhi is the process of digesting what's happening in life, not just me, but others. And from the wisdom, then when you're done, you practice it. Not just keep it as a memory, but practice it. Just the friend pickleball. Maybe I'll give you one more example. I do all the right exercise. I oxygen um, exchange it. I think the ball is a good one. But I do diving. So the diving will go down so that the pressure changes. And I thought that may affect my brain. So that was one of the questions I asked. And chat DVD get lost and couldn't answer the right question at that end. I found that in the depth that I dive may not cause much difficulty in terms of the cerebral infarction. But who knows? So that's the thing that we want to verify, even if you think you have the answer, ask the question to confirm it. So in a way this is reflection on myself, but checking with ChatGPT as a friend or co-pilot will be wonderful occasion. And I hope I'm sharing something meaningful for you. If I forget, <laughs> I'll think about it later and I'll come back and share. Because what's important see, should be made visible. In this case, all of it. And it goes away. So I reinfor reinforce it. And that's what I do. I think that makes sense. Because not, we are not living with the concept. We are practicing the right concept with wisdom. I hope you have a good life based upon this principle that we can apply in the world. Thank you.